Hello, everyone. Happy, happy Friday. We made it. End of the week. Congratulations. Um, so today we're going to be talking about ecosystem services. Um, this is the last lecture um, in unit two. So next week, um, I'll just be posting review videos. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And ecosystem services really have to do with the importance of biodiversity. <clears throat> All right, so this is basically how ecosystems benefit humans economically or help us survive. Um, so on the AP exam, if they ask you to name an ecosystem service, you need to connect it to how it either helps our, like directly helps our survival or helps our economy. If those are the only two things that it seems like the college board cares about, that's the only answers they're gonna accept if we're talking about ecosystem services, how it impacts our survival or our money. All right, because humans are selfish and that's all we care about. <laughs> Um, and there's four types of services. We have supporting, regulating, provisioning, and cultural. <clears throat> so the first one, supporting, these are services that lead to the creation of ecosystems and uh, all the other ecosystem services. Um, so this is gonna be nutrient cycling, photosynthesis or primary productivity, soil formation, genetic diversity, habitat formation. Um, so to link this to like our direct survival, without nutrient cycling, we wouldn't be here. All right, we need carbon, we need nitrogen, phosphorus. Um, we need all of this stuff or else we're not gonna live. Obviously, if no one's doing photosynthesis, there's no energy available for us to eat. Soil, can't grow stuff, can't eat, dead. Genetic diversity, remember that lowers the chances of organisms um, Surviving a disruption also might cause us to die. Habitat formation, no habitats, no animals. Also, again, probably gonna die. All right, next is regulating. These are benefits that um, are obtained from the regulation of ecosystem processes. So <clears throat> pollination, water filtration, flood prevention, pest regulation, disease regulation, and climate regulation. You'll notice there's a lot of regulations under the regulating services. Um, so these are all kind of things that ecosystems do for us um, that regulate other processes. Um, so for example, water filtration, our soil filters our water when the water sinks through it, filters out anything bad, and then we can drink the water. Um, flood prevention, all of this stuff is going to ben benefit us either economically or our survival. Um, <clears throat> so flood prevention, that would be economic, same with pest. Um, disease would be survival. Climate regulation is also, you could connect that to economy. Oops. All right, provisioning. This is what we typically think of when we think of ecosystem services, materials that we can go in, collect, and then use that directly benefit us. So food, water, medicine, fuel, fibers, wood. The stuff we're gonna go in, harvest, take, and use. Um, those are provisioning ecosystem services. Um, like if you're getting provisions, you're getting stuff. Uh, maybe that'll help you remember that. I don't know. All right, cultural services. So this is non-material benefits from ecosystems, but you have to be careful here because you have to connect this to our survival or our economy. So you can't just be like, oh, like a forest, you know, it gives us a spiritual outlet. That's not, that's not survival, that's not economy. All right, so for example, tourism, economy. Religion, uh, you're probably gonna have to tie that to economy because there's, we would survive without religion. Um, artwork, also tied to economy there. We can buy and sell artwork based on ecosystems. Um, <clears throat> education, you would have to tie that back to the economy again, that one there. All right, so those are, that's it. Um, you will, need to know those, but I'm not going to give you any work about the ecosystem services. Um, as long as you kind of know what they are, you should be fine. Um, this weekend, I want you to catch up, finish anything from unit two that you're behind on. Um, I'm going to be doing a notebook check on Wednesday. Um, this is also the end of unit two. 
Um, I will post probably on Monday a review video and then the unit two test either on Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Um, almost everyone has finally taken the unit one test. So I should have those back to you hopefully next week as well. I think there's one more person I'm waiting on. So um, hopefully by next week, I'll be able to return those to you. Um, if you have any questions, remember office hours 2 to 2.20. Um, the link to office hours is in your Google Calendar. And I will see you all next week. Bye, guys.